there are real problems in the world, hurricanes, tsunamis, earthquakes. Can you do anything to minimize the death effect of hurricanes? Thousands of people die. So I'm going to tell you a little thing about the tsunamis, waves that kill people. Okay? Here's an island. When the tsunami comes, everybody drowns. So sometimes they try to build a wall here. If you put a wedge out one mile away from the island, it'll split the tsunami so the, you don't need to build this long wall. A little, not little, but a concrete wedge will part the water so the main force does not drown thousands of people. What do you suggest? I don't know. They never come up with anything. You always ask them, what do you suggest so we don't have war? Try it. You'll, you'll get no answers. I asked once a congressman, how would you prevent poverty, hunger? I don't know. This and there, they don't know. What are you doing in government? As well as a guy with somebody there. <laughs> 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 on that incentive <laughs> issue, too, that your friend brought up, He's saying if, if you don't work for money, then people wouldn't do things. But I know a lot of very wealthy, wealthy people, and if that was the case, then they wouldn't be doing anything. But they tell us that they don't have enough time in the day to do everything that they want to do. And in the future, within a resource-based economy, the incentive would be no work, and no um, poverty, no hunger, no crime. People would be working on things and devising things that can immediately go into society and make people's lives better and they can see it, they can benefit from it directly, immediately. So the standard of living would go up very, very quickly when people can do that. That gives a lot of incentive to people. The kids are always inquisitive until we kill them with, our, with the schooling. So the thing that kills incentive tremendously is minimum wage. You want to kill incentive? Make a dishwasher kills incentive. Make, make, have you ever worked as a dishwasher? The dishes are continuously coming in all the time. There's no for any up, let up with it. And then they give you minimum wage. You go home and, and your, your wife can't buy a new dress. You can't take your kids to the, for medical care. You can't send them to good schools. And you're continuously doing dishes. That can flatten a person really quickly. You don't have enough money to buy a new car and old cars break down much faster. Also, you could say that the system is sort of a forced incentive <coughs> because yeah. you have to make money in order to survive. Yeah. So you're taking away that natural incentive that we all have. You know, that's what kids have. They're curious. They want to learn. It's a matter of what we give them and, and, and how they develop from there. Yeah. So, yeah, we all have that natural incentive to feel like a part of society. That's what drives us. We want to have that sort of a feeling of acceptance and being a part of something. And that's been twisted within the system because it's been turned into a really detrimental thing that doesn't do anything. It doesn't help us. It doesn't get us anywhere. So the incentive, we're born with that. It's just a matter of direction, direct directing it.